Today we're going to be doing some more things on the cover of our altered book. And we're going to be talking about the inside front cover and the inside back cover and options for that also. So let's just dive in today into our contagious creativity. I hope you're doing well with your daily creative practice. It is day 30. Can you believe it? I can hardly believe that, but I am excited about what we're doing here, and I can't wait to dive into next month. Okay, but let's think about finishing this month first. Okay, so this is a little bit, I'm gonna show you some things I did on the cover yesterday, and I hope that if I tilt this, you can see all this gold that is showing up there. I've put some dots around. I just brushed some around. I swirled some with my fingers. I think that looks pretty good. I hope you like it as much as I do. So today we're going to concentrate on the spine and finishing the back. So let's just jump in. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the words on the spine first. If I can figure out a good way to do that. And I wanna show you a little trick I came up with. I really didn't know how I was gonna center my words on here. And I can still see the title on here. So I found the center of the title I took my little right angle ruler, or my square, put it up against there to get it square, and I drew just a very faint line with a watercolor pencil right across there. So I'm going to be able to see what's happening through my stencil. Now I have a place I can line up through the middle so that I can put that hopefully where it goes. I'm going to use some of our navy blue paint and a stencil brush. I'm going to hold this as tightly as I can. The blue tape is not to tape it down to the book. The blue tape is actually to protect me from getting over into the other words on this stencil. So I'm just going to tap in here. And get this as good as I can. Now I'm gonna swirl since some of that paint is gone. So hopefully I can get nice, crisp, sharp edges in there. And I'm going to do one more thing. Let me get my gold. Hopefully that will stay there. <laughs> I think I just want to put a hint of gold. Brush a little bit and just come in and put a hint of that gold. I usually don't put two colors on a stencil brush, but what the heck. So hopefully that worked. I'm gonna put my cap on so I don't spill this treasure gold. And let's hold our breath and remove the stencil and hope I did it right. <laughs> hope, 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 hope. So how does that look? I think that looks pretty darn good, yay! So it worked. My little trick with the pencil worked. So I'm just gonna come in and tap some more of this darkness around while I've got something on my brush. And rub it in. Always thinking about continuity. I'm gonna just tap some on the front. Tap some down the edge. 
And I'm going to tap some on the back in just a couple of places. Just so we have some of that same color that's in the stenciling on the back. Mm, that looks good. I like that settled down a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. As far as cleaning my brush off, I'm going to go ahead and put it in water for now. And I am just going to do a little bit more with this treasure gold. I love this stuff. It is a beautiful, beautiful gold. And it works just beautifully on books and on book pages. So we will be sprinkling some of that throughout the book too. So I'm just gonna dip the back of my paintbrush into that. And I'm gonna come in here and you can get about three dots. with each time you dip. to just take this treasure gold, get some on my finger, and I'm gonna rub some of it in here on top of our stenciled area, just to give that some fun definition. Don't wanna rub too much or too long. You've gotta know when to quit, because if you keep rubbing, it will just go into the paint and just change the color. So make sure you understand, don't keep rubbing. And I'm just gonna pat some around. Make some little blotches and spotches. Accent this edge a little bit. And it's sometimes hard to know when to stop, isn't it? <laughs> For me, sometimes I just keep going and going till I make a real big mess. And then I've got to start over again. So hopefully I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to stop less is more as far as I'm thinking this time. I'm going to come in here and do some of that dipping on the spine. In just a couple of places. get some hint of that gold. Everywhere. Oh, and I want to put some on that butterfly. I think that would be really cool. I think that's good. See that? <laughs> and see the back cover? See how that accented this wonderful place of our stenciling? This is the, remember this is the uh, raised stenciling that we did much higher than the bottom. is much less pronounced. But I think that looks pretty good. Might need a little bit just a tad right in the middle there. And maybe a little bit on our bird. I think that works. So I'm gonna leave it alone, like I said, before I ruin it. And let's move to the inside pages, the inside back cover and the inside front cover. And I will tell you what I did. 
This book, uh, if you will remember, had those beautiful pages with the women and trees and the little cat back here. And I really was going to save that. I was just going to leave it as it was. But since I kind of changed the theme, once I found this wonderful um, scrapbooking paper <laughs> that I used throughout the book, I went ahead and just whited them out. I'm probably going to come in and age the edges, but I don't know. I haven't made up my mind with that yet. But I am going to put this picture right there. So I'd love to hear from you. Do you want me to age the edges on this book? Or would you like me just to leave it as is and just be kind of a surprise when you open the book and see the white? Because that gives you like a blank slate to think about. And then I'm going to put this picture here. And I'm, it's pro I'm probably going to make it interactive. And I did the same thing on the inside front cover. Just gesso and then a coat of white paint to completely blank it out. And then I'm going to use this little picture right there. Because I love this storybook, Once Upon a Time. That little Once Upon a Time matchbook took me to a whole new place, and I love that. So anyway, I also want to show you what I have done to some of the inside pages. I have gone ahead and whited them out. And I will come back with clear gesso over these so that they are little places where you can write and journal. That's what I want to do. I'm not going to show you any more of what the book has done. I've done a lot of it. I haven't done a lot of the back pages. I'm still thinking about it. So there's going to be some more work to be done even after we're finished. But I think we're good for right now. And I think that's everything I was going to show you today. I hope you got some nice hints and tips and tricks, especially about how to center words on the spine. I think that's a big deal. <laughs> this is Rebecca. Get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.